back to a new video <laughs> what's up so we are on our way to mammoth mountain with the homies basically all, we're all gonna be couples and we're heading to mammoth mountain are you excited honey yeah what are you excited about uh just the trip in general so we've never been to mammoth mountain or anything like that um new to mammoth mountain we got a tent not that long ago and we're excited to estrenarlo and um and just to go out and see what the hell is out there you know trying to try to hit the freaking the hot springs and what else honey what are you excited for the nature nature days so we're just gonna chill we're gonna have fun kind of like a little two three day bender you know get out there and just just have fun right honey yeah and we're gonna keep you updated and to see where where we're at right now i'm trying to catch up to the homies and we'll keep you posted made it all the way up here like at like what two something in the morning Two like 2 30 in the morning guys and it was freaking cold and we literally just got here set up and freaking went to bed because we thought we were tired we left it like almost nine o'clock and we got here like at 2 30 so we're tired and um yeah what do you think baby he's tired yeah we're freaking tired so we're gonna get up probably cook something or keep driving because we still got like 40 minutes to go so we'll see we'll keep you guys updated <laughs> Huh? All right, guys, we're on the move. We're on the move. Um, right now, we're following my buddy, and um, we'll see how it goes. How'd you sleep last night? Um, I slept pretty good. I think it was like the ride in general was just long, uh -huh. and it felt like it was just taking forever. Uh huh. But it did feel like it, like it was taking forever. It was pitch black. I couldn't see anything at all at all so but but it did look really really cute last night uh -huh. how it was like even though it was like pitch like black like it, you had a, a better view of like the stars and yeah there so many stars like out did you see did you hear the the river like that thing was running like super hard huh? on the freaking yeah. the river man i thought the yorona was gonna come out or something like that but i don't know i woke up like at like 6 40 i think or 6 30 and our freaking heater I guess stop, stop blowing hot air. It was blowing, but it, it was like blowing anything, but it was nice and toasty in there. Yeah, I think a good thing that helped was like the blankets that we took. Yeah. We got out the sarape and everything. We brought out the animal kingdom, the freaking tiger blanket, the, the eagle blanket, the lion blanket, the whole animal kingdom just to stay warm out here. And I think we overly stayed warm out. Yeah. So. I better get pasa. I'm just, I'm just excited. And I'm happy, and I don't know what else. Anything else? What are you looking forward to on the trip? Like, what is something that you're either like looking forward to either? Just, just a new experience, and then you know, a new experience with you, and a new adventure with you. Basically, you know, that's, that's really, really what I look forward to in this. You know on these trips like this you know something new for both you and i and you know we get, you know get a little closer yeah. get a little closer for you and i i do miss our babies i wish we can bring our babies but babies meaning you know our dog and our guinea pigs so we have one dog two guinea pigs and then a fish and the fish so our dog's um she's a pit bull she's four years old and then our guinea pigs are two boys well 
I, we th I think it's two boys. She thinks it's a boy and a girl. And they're like the funniest things in the world. And then our fish, which we think it's our dog reincarnated for some reason. So, I don't know. Yeah. But, we'll see. A ver qué pasa. We're just excited, guys, and keep you guys updated, too. See where we go. Made it up here to Mammoth Mountain. Estamos aquí with everybody. Alright, we're here Say what's up, guys. Say what's up, guys. Yay! You live? I'm live. Now it's a YouTube channel. Alright, we're here. Ahí está. Mel's Adventures. Andale. Big Boy Adventures. Big Boy Mel. Poor Mel. Oh. Mel agarras, güey. <laughs> Look at that, guys. We're about to go up there. Let's see the cable cart. Me aguanta. Look at that dog. Oh, this way, this way, this way. Vamos. Damn, my heart rate's going up. Man. Fuck. <laughs> I can't breathe. I'm freaking. I'm dying up here. Look at this, guys. Allá afuera. El piso no vamos a pasar. Ahí está. Sí, eso, sea, guys. El abejete, pero fue un piso. No, no se lo veo. No mames, eso, guys. Ah, sí, sí, sí. No está Wendy, se la hace a Wendy, sí. Hey, yo, it's almost like Irvin here. Oh, I have a little bit of that. Like that. That shit, that shit loud. Hey, hey, that's classic, bro. Someone take the blame. That shit loud. You brought the 360, bro. Where you at? It's a party out here. Look at the DJ up there. Wow. What do you think? What do you think? Huh? Go, go. <laughs> Freaking party out here. Look at this. Look at this, guys. It's a freaking party out here. Let's send over here, guys. Look at this. Wow. I'm all layered up. It's not even that cold up here. Unless I'm like layered up, then it might be fucking freezing. But what do you think, honey? What do you think? I think it looks really nice. Uh -huh. It looks really pretty. I wish I could play in the snow right now. We're playing the snow, we'll do snow angels right now. Man? Nah? I'll record you. We'll, we'll find a spot to do snow angels, so. It's like a legit party out here. Ah, it's recording! <laughs> I wasn't recording. Damn, I wasn't recording. Come here. Come here. Let us see you again. Double take. Cheers. Mm hmm. Oh, no, just kidding.
at John's Pizza. We were just up there in the whole body. That shit's a blast. Say what's up, everybody. Say what's up, everybody. What's going on? We're hungry and we're about to munch out on some delicious pizza. Hell yeah. Morning guys, how's it going? It's 10 14 April what? Today's what the 14th? Yeah. The 14th. We are on our way back home from Mammoth Mountain. Everyone else stayed. And we apologize. We were supposed to record last night, but it was way too cold and way too freezing. Right, babe? Yeah. Even me like putting like the tent up and everything, it was just my hands were so cold. I had to put like two two socks on my hands to be able to like in order to use them as like uh, 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 use them as like mittens in order to like pull out the tent and everything. But it was way too cold, and it was just like no. So I think everyone else just stayed in their in their tent as well because it, it was just it was just windy and cold, right? Yeah, super super cold. But we're on our way back. And we're freaking tired. I'm really tired, and I'm and I'm stinky. So <laughs> we gotta go back home and take showers and check on our babies. And, and yeah, so what do you think, honey? Your first time in Mammoth? Um, I think it was a pretty good experience, especially for it being our first time. Um, even though it was cold, mm -hmm. I think that. The weather wasn't too bad that I thought it would be. Um, it was cold, but not that cold. Mm -hmm. It was like bearable. What do you mean bearable? My hands were fucking freezing. <laughs> huh? I mean, even though it was cold outside, I feel like on the inside, it was. Oh yeah, warm. inside we were toasty, and so we had this diesel heater that my friend let me borrow. Shout out, Padre. But um. We had literally like we put a, a sleeping bag underneath our bed and then we had like the, the little foam mattress and then another sleeping bag and there were like three blankets on top of us and then she had like one, her personal blanket that she has and and then the little heater so inside we were nice and toasty we didn't want to come out but yeah but yeah so the only thing the only time we came out is to use just to use the restroom like at like two, two. Three, like two in the morning yeah two in the morning so that that shit was scary well, I know what's crazy though is right. that I woke up like literally right at two. That is crazy. That's the that's that, the witch's hour, no, the devil's hour. Wasn't it like three? Three a.m. Some shit like that. Yeah. So thankfully we were already like going back to bed before three. But it's crazy because we heard like like footprints, like because we were like on on dirt, but we heard like footprints outside, or like not footprints. We heard like footsteps or like. Like Some, somebody walking. Like, yeah, somebody walking in the dirt. So we're like, what the hell is that? Like, I got freaked out because you know you don't know what the hell is out there. You know, we're out in you know the open. You know, nobody's there besides like other yeah. camp camping campers or whatever that are camping around. But they're kind of like you know in the distance. So I was like, fuck that. So I told my wife like, hey, light up the freaking rope, the underneath the because we don't need the covers. I figured I had to unlock the the. Give me a second. The gun. The gun case, and I was like, I'm not gonna fucking be out here and got caught off guard like that. So, but I don't think it was anything. Maybe just the wind, but it sounded like someone was outside, like walking around. Maybe like a skinwalker. What do you think? 
I don't know. I mean, it could have been like somebody just like going and having to use the restroom, trying not to make noise. Maybe. But then again, like maybe like 50, 50% chance. Or maybe it was also the wind. Um, but I think that like, that's just something that we're never really going to ever find like the answer to. No. So. Because I wasn't about to peek out the window and have somebody there. Peekaboo! You know, and just scare me or some shit like that. So. Yeah. But I'm good, you know, so. But we're on our way back. Overall, how'd you like it? Um, overall, I was kind of skeptical because I didn't know like how if I was gonna like it or if it was, you know, gonna be somewhat like kind of boring. Yeah. But it actually, you know, like made it like above my expectation. Um, I think I enjoyed it more because it's like both of our first time, mm -hmm. you know, coming. And I just feel like it's another adventure that we can, you know, check off like the bucket list yeah you know and um it's just another memory you know to to add to, to add mm -hmm. you know um but overall i loved it i would definitely like do it again um i think this time just like well no i mean there isn't really anything else that i do differently um besides all we just bring make sure we bring the heater yeah we have to get our own mm -hmm. we have to buy our own our own heater because yeah. that thing came in handy that thing really came in handy so i think outside it was probably like in the low 30s but inside it was like probably like 1000 degrees and i think what helped out <laughs> was all the blankets yeah With all the blankets the body heat you know, it wasn't really like we were very like close. We brought out the whole animal kingdom. You know, the sarapes. We brought out the eagle, the tiger, the lion, the horse. What else? The whole animal kingdom. So we were nice and toasty th thanks to the Mexican sarapes. So yeah. What about you? How like? What do you think about the trip? It, it was nice. It was very nice. It was very like much needed. You know, Angie and I have been working real hard. You know non-stop so it was nice to be able to pack and get out you know we left our our pets at, at home you know in the care of my sister and her one of her really good friends but i wish we can bring bring um our dog but it's kind of our first time to see how how it goes and then and for next time you know like mm -hmm. if we take her what to take how to like prepare ourselves because again this was our first time as well so it was a good experience for us to know the stuff that we brought like if we need to bring more stuff but like we really didn't need to make it kind of i guess to kind of make the load not as heavy now that we know like yeah we have a lot of food still we didn't even cook we didn't get to cook because how cold yeah, it was it was too cold and then um you bought the fishing rods yeah i didn't catch anything man oh freaking carlos one of our friends and his girl they were catching and catching and catching and I kept like, you know, throwing, waiting, throwing, waiting. I'm like, oh man, I was so freaking bummed out. I was like, I wanted to catch the trout, but eh, maybe next time, maybe I wasn't, you know, they didn't like my setup or, or whatever, but next time I'm for sure I'm going to be catching a big ass fish, like a river monster. Yeah. So it was cool. The highlight was um, we got to see a bear, a little bear. Oh, I know. Huh? Yeah, we got to see a little bear, a little brown bear. So it was just kind of like up in the little hill, and we recorded it. We'll put it on, but um, that was pretty cool. Seeing seeing a little bear. How heavy the thing was? It probably was like a good like four hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. Give or take. Probably give or take four hundred pounds. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit. It wasn't too big. Uh, yeah. yeah, I would say anywhere between three to five. Like definitely not eight. Definitely not like one thousand. <laughs> But I would say definitely between like three to five hundred pounds it was. But you could tell it was it's like a good baby size. Cup. Yeah, it's a good size. So it looked like a little baby. It yeah. wasn't like a baby baby cup, but it was like I would say they were already like a good maybe like what like well how much do they grow like within mm -hmm. like a month? I don't know. I'm, all I know is if I'm seeing a grizzly bear and that motherfucker is like taller than me, then 
you best believe that's the end of Big Mel. Big Boy Mel. So I guess you could say that it was basically like in human years it's basically it's like the size of what? Like a like if it was like if a three, it, no, not a like yeah. if it would have stand up? Yeah, stand Probably up. Like a ten year old, like a ten, thirteen year old? Well yeah, I guess, yeah. It would be like yeah, Because it wasn't that small. It was, it was like medium. It wasn't that small. But if it would have stand up, it'd probably be like. It was like. Like five feet probably. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm like almost six. I'm like what? Yeah, it would basically like be foot, like so almost my same height. Like maybe a little bit more that's smaller. That's a fucking big ass bear foot. <laughs> no manches. Yeah. Maybe not so little. <laughs> yeah. But stay tuned, guys. We have a lot, a lot of um, adventures and plans we want to do, and um, I think our next trip. I don't know if they're gonna make it a guys trip or like a whole bunch of everybody, but um, Joshua Tree maybe like next month. So go out there, go shooting, and then um, ride the quads and the the dirt bikes, and then I think for June, I think we're planning to go to uh, Mono Hot Springs. I think it's the this year. We've been there once. And it's nice up there, really, really nice. And um, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. I think in between that, we're probably gonna go like maybe like day camping for, the, for like a, for just for the day. Go to, like to like a park and have a picnic. So I know she's been wanting to go on picnics. Yeah, and I don't know. We'll see. But we're excited. You know, we're we're really grateful to be able to have this kind of experience. Not many people get to do this. So anything else? Um, no, I just, I just think that we're very, like, blessed and very, you know, I'm just, like, very thankful that we're get to, that we get to basically do this together and we're given the chance to even have the group of friends that we do to, that invite the us car. along, you know, the car. Mm-hmm. Um, I think overall it just makes you more, makes you more humble. And, and makes you more like appreciative of the stuff that you have and the people you have yeah. in your life you know so overall i just i loved it i'm excited for the many more adventures that we are going to be going on in the future mind you guys we always go on stuff like this but we never really record anything like this but we're always going on like last minute trips like this or adventures but most of the time we're just kind of like Put the phones down, you know, and just absorb everything, and just unwire, you know, from the from the city, and just literally like just be in the mountain or being. Like we like in the to forest. be in the nature, like we we take it like very serious when it when it comes to, like yeah. going on vacation. We like to actually like go hike or like go explore, go fishing, like just do stuff that you would normally do in the nature. But we're doing it for you guys to see, you know, a glimpse of what, what we do and. Um, some of you don't have, you know, the, the opportunity to be going on trips like this, so that we guys can see, you know, what's more than like the city or the rancho or whatever, so or wherever you guys live. But this is it. Time to time to head back home and relax and be with our little babies and, and yeah. Get back to life. Get back to freaking life, man. But it's good. Anything else? That's it? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for joining us, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye.